poor James is in the hotel room and I'm like, you better sit in the corner and be quiet while I film my video about makeup. <laughs> Are you gonna take a nap? She's such a good boyfriend. Fiance. Husband? Okay, he's not talking. All right. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. I am in beautiful Chicago. You guys, I'm loving it here. I am doing a little thing with Birchbox, uh, if you're wondering why I'm here. I do have, uh, not necessarily a meetup, but they're doing a pop-up at Pioneer Court, and I'm going to be there on Friday at noon if you wanted to stop by and say hello. Um, but you know, I'm on the road, and I'm still gonna be talking about beauty products, and I wanted to do a very special Hot or Not because I have been using a new palette that hasn't launched yet that I got my hands on early and I am absolutely obsessed with. I have not loved a palette this much in a very long time. This is not sponsored at all in any way, shape, or form. I just really, really love this palette. In fact, I brought it with me. Like that's that's the truth teller. When you are packing and you have to like pick through all of your amazing favorite products, you know, what you actually bring with you when you pack to go on the road, I think really it tells you something. First off, I am wearing all of, uh, not all of the colors at once. I'm wearing a lot of the colors in this palette on my eyes right now. And I wore them on the news this morning. I did a little bit on the Fox News. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys saw that, if you watched it, how did it go? I am usually like totally cool talking to a camera at home or in a hotel room, just like this, me and you. But you know, with like the whole Fox News thing, it was a little different, but I liked it. Okay, so uh, this is the Stardust palette by Vegas Ney. This is a collaboration with Too Faced and the quality of these shadows are ridiculous. I love this and I love all of the different finishes as well. Now you can purchase this actually as a kit. I am the idiot that traveled without the rest of the kit, but I am gonna share with you. You do get a mini Better Than Sex mascara. I will link below. I have done a full review on that mascara. I'm a big fan of it. You get a deluxe size sample of that. You get their eyeshadow primer, and then you get this loose glitter dust, which I am so just mad at myself that I did not bring because it is just, it, it's, it has my name all over it. Like anything glittery and shimmery and champagne-y, like that is just me. I love it. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful pigment. I will insert a swatch of it. Um, but let's talk about this actual palette right here. You get 12 shades and they are a variety of finishes. You have some beautiful neutral shades and then you get some fun colors as well. And the names of them are super adorable. They are all Vegas themed. I mean, this is the Vegas Ney Stardust palette, so you would expect that. I love it. And if you don't know who Vegas Ney is, she is huge on Instagram. Um, something you also get with this kit are little cute cards that have actually sounds really creepy when I'm saying it, that have eyeballs on them. But it's like the Instagram style photo where it's just like a close-up of someone's eye and you're like, oh my God, that makeup is amazing. How do I do it? And then you flip the card over and it's like step one, step two, step three. And oh, hey, you're using everything from this palette. So I love that. I'm actually going to try a few of the different looks myself and just see how they turn out. Um, okay, so let's get to the colors and swatching. We have Chandelier which the first three times I opened this palette, I thought it was Chandler. That would make no sense. I was like, oh, does she love friends? Maybe, no, what? Okay, so Chandelier is just this beautiful cream white shadow. I'm wearing it all over my lid today. You can make this really soft, you can build it up. There's a lot that you can do with just a creamy, basic white matte shadow. Then you have Millennial, which is just a beautiful transition shade, very warm. This is your typical kind of shade that you can really use with any look, be it natural or dramatic, it is gonna soften up those edges. Then you get Girls' Night. This is actually what I'm wearing on the outer corner of my eye. It is a beautiful, warm, just kind of rusty red, warm brown shade that is matte as well. So you have your basics up top here that you're probably gonna reach for the most out of this palette. Then you go to the next level. And you have hashtag selfie, which is a beautiful creamy shade that has a little bit of iridescence to it. And it is more on the satiny metallic side of things. It's not like chandelier. It is more metallic and just shimmery, a great inner corner highlight, just a beautiful color. Now comes my favorite shade of this entire palette. I'm obsessed with this shade. It is so 
gorgeous. And I know if I open up any of my makeup drawers and look for like bronzy type eyeshadows, I have a bunch of them. But when I swatch them side by side by side by side, which is typically how I like to review products, I will look at a color and I will look at all the other colors that are similar a similar finish and I'll be like which is better which is less powdery which has more pigment which is smoother and this bronze shade is I'm just so excited about this it's called showgirl and I think this would look good on anyone it is a very brightening bronze shade and it is just stunning you can wear this all over the lid you could wear it on the center of the lid paired with you know kind of the sandwichy eye look where you would do something darker on the outer and inner you could smudge this on the lower lash line it's just beautiful. I love it. I literally was sitting on the floor like staring at my hand with this color on it for the longest time and James is like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's just so pretty. Um, okay, moving next door to Jackpot. This is a beautiful brown that has micro shimmer in it that is golden and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Then we have the next row down, you have Pink Pearl, which is almost more lilac-y in my opinion, but really, really beautiful. Then you have this strip, which is that same texture as Showgirl. This one is so gorgeous too, I can't even. It has like just this layered texture, but it's still smooth and glittery and shimmery and metallic, and it's just so, so beautiful. Next to that you have Follow Me, which is actually the one shade in this palette that I'm not that excited about. It's pretty, but I have other purples in my collection that are the same tone. That are more pigmented so out of the entire bunch this is the only one that i found a little bit tough to blend and work with as far as pigment is concerned we have one more row to go we have double tap which is a beautiful plum matte shade gorgeous absolutely beautiful you can do a lot with this uh, then we have golden nugget love the name love the color it is everything down this center row with exception of the top row is that same kind of metallic-y, glittery type of a finish. These work really well wet or dry. And then next to that you have Sin City. Now I would not expect anything less from Vegas Nay than like a black shadow that is literally like pitch black, crazy intense, just like this is the blackest eyeshadow I think I have ever seen. And it's great because you can really, you know, do a great smoky eye, but you can also set your eyeliner or you could use this with like a MAC Fix Plus and use it as eyeliner. So you have a lot of options here. I have eyeshadow all over the place and I'm really, really struggling to not like wipe it on my face as I like get my hair out of my face. You can do this, you can do this. Bottom line, I think this is a beautifully done palette. The pigmentation is great, the wear time is great, and I like that you get everything that you need really for travel. It's not just like a matte, boring palette. You get everything in here. Some really shocking, bright metallic shades, your matte shades, you get your black shade. It's just like, done. You're done. So many looks in one little palette. I freaking love it. Uh, definitely check it out. It will be available on Too Faced.com August 23rd. I got a sneak preview and I wanted to tell you guys right away that I love it. It's definitely a good one. So there you have it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you're having an excellent day and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.